them all on board. I got me a top boat. I'm them dead, them dead, them dead, them dead, them dead. to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple. Tapo and Ado, I'm going to tell you something. Don't let nobody at all tell you, you say, you can't talk to yourself. I say, if you feel like giving yourself an answer, you're supposed to do it. Guess why? Sometimes it is necessary to give yourself advice. Self advice is valuable because you know yourself better than anyone else. Take time to reflect on your life, identify obstacles, and make changes. Okay? So you see why you have to talk to yourself and answer yourself. No, nobody tell you about your man. Don't make nobody tell you that. But anyway, well, I'm going my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. But still there. But still there, people are more things. Still, they have to talk about it in the news. So keep back and relax. We can just wheel off the news to the people them. Because that them coming about. We say police them finally a listen. The man them just a kick in some penalty in the 9 minutes of the game these days people. The forward scored 2 Sunday. The midfielder scored 2 yesterday. And today belongs to the defender. And guess what people? He scored 1 already. I don't want to believe it, but here we are going, we are going now. I'm not shot and killed by police in a shootout in Maroon Town, St. James, early, early this morning. It's reported about 3.30 a.m. A police team was on operation in the Shawcastle area of Maroon Town when they came under heavy gunfire. I'm here to tell you, the police have to win. Yes, people. The police them say, my view, finally we are taking a page out of your book. Boy, shout off away. I slap, we are slap them away. The police are eating gun battle ensue with a group of men for several hours. After the shooting subsided, the man was discovered suffering from gunshot wound. The police and illegal fire was taken from him. He was taken to the hospital dead, dead, dead. We are type in the come down there. Both them are investigate. While in the come go on to them to fitness, me there and I make people them know say the police them up on a goal scoring farm. Five goal in three days. Nothing no wrong with that they match there. In the come. Take more work, no man. Indicom has commenced a probe into the fatal shooting of two men by the police in Red Ground, Nigel Westmoreland on Monday evening. They have been identified as 40-year-old Richard Mosley and 25-year-old Shane Grandison, both of Red Ground. Police report that information was received that men sporting dreadlocks ear style was seen brandishing gun in the grill. At about 6.10 p.m., the police said cops intercepted a motor vehicle fitting the description in which both men were traveling in the Red Ground area and blocked its path. It further stated that the men exit the vehicle and opened fire the police before escaping into bushes. The police returned fire and member the police them have to win every day may i tell them that it was later discovered that the driver and the passenger on the front seat of the vehicle were shot they were rushed to the hospital i'm not the police them take them time and kind of make them see uh oh you understand them they see uh, one them know them this are between me and uno now don't make the police that nobody knows say me tell you no you see earlier on the day the police them they stop him in the town and take him phone and say hey boy we must slap you away nobody tell nobody say me tell you no. okay this is just between me uno and the people up a red ground all right Speaking of Red Ground, following the fatal shooting, upset Red Ground resident lashed out at police, accusing the cop of killing the men in cold blood and claimed that both victims were not troublemakers. See the lie there? That is the lie. That are the big lie. That's why I'm not feeling sorry for them. But anyway, more news. Call Indicom, Indicom, come go on the way they do while me move on. I go up a cent hands because Patrick by one rope and it never end well. Yes, people, 73 year old from Priory St. Anne, Patrick Delgado, take him one tree. A court report reached on news team from the police at around midday, Delgado was found, Delgado was found hanging from his veranda rail with a piece of rope tied right round him neck, people, you understand, up him neck, pop. His body was removed and taken right to the morgue. Sharon Smith, a resident of the area, said Delgado was a quiet individual. 
people quite never know where them up to this is really sad it's a paper the whole community and i shot the paper them i say watch your god power god we never know him of this in him intention they understand but they wouldn't know because they really talk to him anyway people watch your god power god but still that said and bloody gang feud rock saint and Finally, look a gang feud reached down there. You understand? Who alone the need to get wiped out? The police in Senna has been put on high alert as a bitter gang feud continued to lead to a number of killings across the parish and threats of reprisal. A pro by our news team reveals that the police investigators have identified one of the most wanted men in the parish, Kemar Matthews, also known as Bibi or Bitter, the alleged leader of the Gasto fraction of the Steertown base, uttered YPC gang as the main suspect in the violence. Let me tell you something. Anybody know which part him, they just tell me. Anybody know which part him, they need to tell me. You understand? Right, 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 right. No. So we send some man go slap him. You understand? Because we don't want police put him in a handcuff. No handcuff this boy. You don't have to go in. Remember, I sat to me come, come tell us, yo, Papi and Berlin, head get pushed back. I know some man in Naga, remember some man in you. Don't need to worry yourself. We have the family of phone. I can't tell you now again. Yes, the latest incident was a double murder in the parish last Saturday. The police at about 2 p.m. on Saturday, 24-year-old Shamrock Papi Edwards, a carpenter of a section of St. Anne called Stony Hill, and 33-year-old Garfield Thomas, otherwise called Brawling, a mace of Discovery Bay, was found with gunshot wound to their upper body. Remember the bedside they out too. Our news team understand that about 9 p.m. on Friday, Edwards was at home with his girlfriend when he received a phone call from Thomas. The man on the call, Edwards then told his girlfriend that he was going to meet Thomas. Then look upon this all the people. Cannot believe you wrap up in a year by the woman and man calling you get up and gone. <laughs> Tell the about to know. Later, the girlfriend made several calls to Edward's cell phone, which went and answered. She became suspicious and decided to visit Thomas' house on Saturday. When she arrived, the woman found both bodies lying on their back at the front of an unfinished apartment complex with multiple gunshot wounds. Police investigators have since determined that Edwards was on the scene of a murder of Carol Matthews, the brother of the most wanted, Kemar, and the shooting of the two other men in Stone Hill. On Tuesday, May 30, Edwards fled the area after the incident and went into hiding, refusing to make himself available to talk to the police. Yes, people. The other man killed on Saturday, Thomas, was held on the Prairie Main Road in St. Anne's Bay, December 2018, and a 9mm chrome pistol with serial number erased, loaded with three 9mm cartridges, was taken from him. He pled guilty in court and was given a suspended sentence. You know, this boy that gets in deserved to, man. You understand? A long time he have gone. She have gone upon him now. Thomas was identified as a close associate of the most wanted Kemar. Police were said Thomas was the subject of several operations by the police targeting the alleged gang leader. It is believed that Thomas, Edwards and other men from Stone Hill were involved in the murder of Kemar's brother, result in a follow between the alleged gang leader and the two men. And then, you know me come back and feel sorry for them? No, 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 no. It not work like that. They both of them get exactly what they deserve. You know, time give a film life to call the woman your woman up, up in a bed. A man call you your job gone. You get exactly where you go for. The police in Sydney they recorded 45 murders in the start of the year. This is 73% above the 26 recorded in the same period last year. Me say, people, how old are people are dead? Them claim say, since July 16, 826 murder them have banned the books. I'm more than that still. Me know, say, we touch it thousand already, but me know how I them. Me can go to some more news now. Member now and member good, me can't tell you who to listen to and me can't tell you who to believe. But member me, they come come tell you, say, don't listen to them. When they tell you, say, dark side and genocide stop war. Nothing don't go so. And Steve's still alive, you mad. Me know now and now I go on for war, go on. And oh, my view, not really touch on pandem ends there yet. You know what I go on for war, go on now, the man? Me round there. My view, I have some information for you in regards to the recent shootings and killing in Central Kingston. On Friday, Shawnee the Don that live overseas that runs Rum Lane got a call that dark side men were cleaning the gully and the police left the location. So he called English's right hand man and gave him orders to get a bike and give scammer who lives at the top part of Wildman Street, which is genocide, to go and shoot up the ends. 
English was recently released from jail, and he told his gunman that nobody from Darkseid is allowed on Text Lane Corner to buy ice cream. The reason why the four man from Darkseid is not dead is because Steve saw the bike coming and told them to run. Steve used to run the square bottom part of Text Lane, but he went to jail and when he got back on the street, all his killers were gone. My view all of them ran away. So Shawnee now control the square and Steve what's it back. Pre this now my view, Steve has two sons one saying Steven that lives on Text Lane saying Darkseid and Contrast who lives on Wildman Street saying Genocide. Contrast was the one that killed Max from Smith Lane. People have it to say Steve was the one that killed Max. Well, he's not getting any credit for that because he only know about it he was not on the scene. The man Dem from Wild Street go for Max then get a program that he was walking down Smith Lane. Steve was the one that killed Spanky. 3 a.m. in the morning him and the dark side men then kick off Spanky door. Two girls were inside the house but wasn't harmed. My view I'm going to break up the gangs for you now. The Don for headquarters named Black Boy Dam give Grammy the place to run. Grammy run Price Lane, Liston and Cloverly Road. He's the Don for the ground he calls all the shots. Skang or Bobo he live overseas and run Wildman Street. Fidel the top man in of the thing, but him give him brother Mario to run things the same Mario you said that got away from Orange Street murder. Mario with the Don over building. Ricky from Dark Side Control down a pow side him live overseas to the two youths the police killed on Orange Street belongs to him. My view this war not going to stop for now because English not going to stop until he kills Steve and with all the kinks and money him have trust me he's going to get it done. If you check the levels dark side mans them killing off everything from genocide. The shootout between police and gunmen on Beeston Street Saturday night where Scammer died, English was the man that got away. And remember now, he was the one that shoot up the gully on Friday trying to kill Steve. So we need to expect reprisals for that shooting because the men are still in the hospital.